Hey, this is John Acosta, and in this pro tip, I'm gonna show you how to trim a video clip directly inside of QuickTime. So you don't have to launch iMovie or Final Cut Pro 10 just to chop off a few seconds of footage. So here's how to do it. Now, this is an interview clip, and as you can see, there's this bit of excess footage in the beginning where the camera's getting set up. Let's take a quick note of two things. First, the name of the clip. It's called Bob Cam 2.5. And the second thing is the length of the clip is currently about 56 seconds. And we can see that right here in the bottom right inside of the play window. Just hold down your command key on your keyboard and tap the letter T as in trim. This opens up the trimming feature that's built directly inside of QuickTime. And these two yellow bands that just appeared, well, they represent the timeline and the entire length of our clip. Now, all we have to do is grab the yellow handle at the very beginning and move it across this timeline until we see exactly where we think the video should start. Right about here. Perfect. And since I believe that you're an intelligent person, I'm pretty sure you've already figured out that we can do this to the end of the clip as well, so we can take out any excess footage that might have happened after the interview is over. So we'll just grab a yellow handle at the end, bring it inward just a bit. So the video clip ends right here where this guy, Bob, stops talking. Now, when we're finished, we can simply press the trim button over here on the right. And now the clip has officially been trimmed. And we know that because the time, which used to be 56 seconds, has shortened tremendously. And notice how the name of the clip went from Bobcam 2.5 to Untitled. This program is so smart, it automatically makes a duplicate for you, so we can still maintain the original clip's length in case we ever need it. And what that also means is when I try to close this clip, QuickTime is gonna ask me to give it a new name because this is not the original file anymore. It's actually just a second instance of the file. So just to recap, we've opened up a clip inside of QuickTime. We held our Command plus T key on our keyboard to activate the trim window. We shortened up the excess footage at the beginning and the end of our clip, and then we pressed Trim over to the right to confirm our changes. That is how you trim a clip inside of QuickTime. That's how you speed up your workflow when you need to make simple changes on a video clip. And in our next lesson, I'm gonna show you how we can actually put two clips together right inside of QuickTime. But we'll save that for the next one. Once again, this is John Acosta. I hope you've enjoyed this pro tip inside of QuickTime, and I'll see you soon.